Hello and welcome to our Mental Ray Control Colour Bleed in 3DS Max course. My name is Brian Bradley and I'm really looking forward to spending some time working through the various options available in the Mental Ray engine for controlling colour bleed in our renders, a skill that will be invaluable no matter which part of the CG industry we are actually working in. In chapter 1 of the course we will take a very quick look at some of the basics regarding the way in which light works in the real world as well as defining for ourselves just exactly what we mean when we talk about the colour bleed phenomenon. In chapter 2 we will look at some ways to control colour bleed in what we will call a physically accurate manner in that the options we use could, for the most part, actually be employed to control colour bleed or colour bounce in a real world environment. In chapter 3 we will move on to some of the GI specific tools that are available working with both final gather and photon based controls and then in chapter 4 we will conclude by looking at a few non physical controls such as the ray switch map and object properties dialog. If you are ready to get to grips with colour bleed problems when using mental rain 3ds max let's press on and dive right in. <laughs> 